This is Zaguan, in Tunisia's dorsal mountains. The climate here is mild, and that's perfect for one of the pillars of the country's economy, the humble olive. They've been producing them here since the times of the Phoenicians. And Munji still harvests olives the traditional way. There are nearly two million hectares under cultivation. A third of Tunisia's agricultural land is given over to the olive. That's almost a fifth of the world's total plantations. Hasuna owns this small one and boosts his income with agro-tourism. Oui, c'est notre tradition, s'il y a des, des siècles qui sont passés, ça, le, et nous on vit, ça veut dire les ouvriers, ou, ou tu sais, c'est la Tunisie, le troisième exportateur d'huile d'olive en, en, dans le monde entier. Alors c'est notre vie, c'est vraiment, c'est la tradition de, des siècles. The industry employs 300,000 farmers and around a million Tunisians depend on it for their income. So it's a market that matters to the country. But it's also a highly competitive one. Tunisia is the largest olive oil exporter outside the EU. Annual olive production can exceed a quarter of a million tons in a good year. But it's little more than a tenth of that in a bad one. Notre première priorité pour l'agriculture tunisienne, c'est l'amélioration de la productivité et l'amélioration des rendements. Euh, L'agriculture tunisienne est essentiellement traditionnelle maintenant, euh, et puis les rendements sont très faibles et les revenus des agriculteurs sont aussi euh, très faibles. Donc ce qu'on voudrait, c'est améliorer les revenus des agriculteurs pour que cette culture euh, persiste et devienne une culture pérenne. The EBRD and FAO are now on board to help, bringing together players from across the sector. Production needs to be stabilized, modernized and intensified. Brands like this one, CHO Group in the city of Sfax, need support to differentiate and raise awareness of their products, at home where demand is weak and abroad. And then there's better technology. It can reduce costs and make use of byproducts. It's all about getting more value out of the production process. And high on the list, replanting exhausted orchards. The Mabruka nursery produces a staggering 5 million seedlings a year. They export as far afield as Saudi Arabia and Pakistan. But those tended nearer to home are closer to the heart. La tradition en Tunisie, c'est chaque maison a un plan d'olivier, déjà. C'est de notre tradition. L'olivier, c'est Moubarak. Chaque famille plante un plan d'olivier. Donc euh, tout, euh, tous les Tunisiens euh, euh, savent co euh, comment euh, élever un plan d'olivier. To grow that tradition, there's much to be done. And the work starts right here.